So it's nearly the end of October. This is Buxton and this is the main shopping street. So we're a little wander and have a look. I see this is Lomas, this is where people buy what they think are bargains but not quite as good bargains as they used to be. Nice plastic flowers. Like most uh, town centres these days it's full of uh, charity shops, coffee shops. Good Derbyshire name, Isa and Zannies, or even Zammies. This years ago was the main uh, A6 running through the centre of Buxton. Another charity shop. This was a rather old fashioned Marks and Spencers, a really old fashioned one. No more. Good afternoon. <laughs> As there's no Sainsbury's nearby, they still have an Argus shop. It's a rather rare. Big queue outside Greg's. and the shopping centre. So now we're at the far, far end of the uh, shopping street. This is ra the rather magnificent uh, Buxton Pavilion over the road. <coughs> See the dome of the uh, big building over there. Stockport's that way. And that's the way it goes to Ashbourne. We can get across the road if we can. Have a quick look round. So, as you see, this was the original Books and Baths. This is now a rather posh hotel. But 
unfortunately opened just before the Covid uh, struck the UK Seems quite busy today Tourist Information Centre. And just around the corner here is where people fill up with the uh, free Buxton spring water. It's always nice and warm. I can see a rather magnificent building. So this is one of the hotels in Buxton. It's got a blue plaque outside. Right, so she said it's not. So this lady stayed here at some stage. Okay, good. Sandstone's getting rather worn away. Obviously, a lot younger this bit. Pavilion Gardens. Here's the Opera House. It's going to be pantomime season. So here we have the rather uh, grand Opera House. see through the door. Not a lot. Hmm, interesting. Dog friendly. 